exclamation everybody and welcome to the Pirates of Sector 7 by Kneeling Bean Studio and it's um uh, I'd say early alpha question mark uh, it's out right now on itch.io you can uh, plunk some money down on it to pick it up I believe it's uh, 10 bucks question mark uh, or of course name your own price but uh, I think 10, 10 is the minimum price if I'm not mistaken on it and it is a 2d top-down space sim kind of uh, it's more akin to like a, a casual uh, trading mining well maybe not so much mining but trading and fighting uh, sim game where you start out the game in the titular sector seven and we'll bring up a map here so you can see what that looks like this is basically the system that you're flying around in and all those giant dots on there are space stations um, the or outposts I should say the ones in the center of the uh, screen there in, in between the asteroid belts um, most of those are shown when you first uh, begin the game uh, the ones on the outside are ones that I have found as I have been flying around and stuff and you can place markers and stuff on the on here at the waypoints and it, it'll show up on your on your um, HUD and whatnot and here's all the different space stations each one is color coded for the faction um, the green are the merchant marines which generally are the ones that give you say uh, mercenary yeah, mercenary um, for the most part to missions you go out and kill a bunch of things uh, although it's not they're not the only ones like the free space union will do it too from time to time and then you've got your your space dogs which are generally your enemy they're wary of me at the moment so you can see my reputation with them and then uh, your cold bones which are also your uh, your pirates and stuff they're openly hostile towards me. I've I've destroyed one or two of their ships, so uh, that's probably why they're a little bit uh, unfriendly. And then there's uh, there's GCO, which is neutral towards me. I haven't actually uh, galactic colonization organization done much with them actually. I probably should do more because there's probably another station out here somewhere. What'll happen is sometimes you'll go there, you'll get a mission, and it'll say like deliver this cargo, you know, deliver. 20 tons of livestock to this other station and then it'll give you a marker towards that other station and you'll go there and then, you'll, and then it'll be on your map for the first time um, so then you can always come back to it again later and and all that stuff and then of course it gives you all the market prices it is a, is a it is a galactic trading uh, game through and through um, here's the log of all the things that have happened. Every time I go and sell cargo, it tells me what I sold it for and how much money I got for it, or if I buy cargo and stuff. Um, and when I salvage things, I've been doing a lot of cargo salvaging basically. And then you've got crew that get paid. You see who gets paid and, and for what and how much the profit the, uh, the captain makes out of the normal, uh, the normal pool of money that you have on board. You look at my captain here. Captain's name is Jet Profits, and he's 28, in superb health right now. And then here's my uh, other. Here's his leadership skills. He's he's skilled at as an engineer and as a trader. At level one on both of those, the experience right bars will go up as as time goes on, and then he'll level up into level two on those as we go. So those give you buffs uh, to your stuff like energy and repair rates, price negotiation, all those things. Here's the, our standing with all the different factions, neutral towards most of them. I do have a few medals from the Space Trade Union because I've run a few missions for them. Usually when you succeed in a mission, you'll get like a medal or two. Uh, same with the Merchant Marines. And then those medals help determine like how much they like you or don't like you, that kind of thing. And then I can adjust my captain's pay rate and stuff. He's got, he's made 8,144 credits. Um, and then you can also retire captain eventually once you get to the re your retirement date, which actually isn't that far off uh, from the current date right now. But I guess that's just, that's the minimum retirement date. 
as the game progresses, you know, time progresses in the game and all of your people age and whatnot and your health can, can change and, and those kinds of things. So that's why all this is important. Look at the ship here. You can see I'm in the rinky dink scout ship that they start you out with. Our hull and our energy numbers. Uh, different system status so you can sell if your life support is on, your navigation and all this stuff. All these can be damaged and you have to go get back to a, a station to repair them. Your munitions, you have to buy these every time you use them. Uh, I, I'll try to get into a scrape. The, it's Fighting in the game is a little bit not so great in this small ship. I imagine it gets a little bit better in the larger ships. And then I have two crew. You start out with one crew. I started out with Jin Marsoon here, who's an engineer. She's leveled up to level two now, so plus 15% energy and repair rate. Uh, she's 23 and in superb health. And then I hired on this trader, Frederick uh, Hellerman. Uh, you can hire them from the stations. You go to the station and there's a pub screen and in there, and I'll, we'll get there in a minute and I'll show you what all that stuff is. You can hire them from there and then, um, here's all the skill totals and whatnot. And then how many credits we have on board. And like I said, every time, every, was it every week, I believe, you have to pay your crew. So each one of them is taking 200 credits down. And then my captain takes a bunch of credits as well because he's at a 5% pay rate. So that digs into your credits. I'm trying to get up to 40,000 credits so I can get the, the miner ship, which I don't know if it means you can actually mine um, asteroids or not because I haven't quite figured out if that's even a thing in the game or not. I have a feeling it's not, but you know. Um, but at the very least I can get more cargo space because I only have 20 space on, of cargo here. I just have one salvage and food and beverage now Because uh, Here's something interesting about the game when you have crew um, The crew need to eat and they need to drink so I actually even though I have 20 spaces of cargo I take up two or well eight of it uh, for food and beverages because what will happen is Every couple of days, I think it's once a week or something, they will set aside some food and beverages. It'll The amount that they set aside is based on how many crew you have. So if you only have one crew, it'll set aside one food, one beverage. Um, two will do, will do two. And if you don't have any in your cargo hold for them, they get uh, kind of angry. <laughs> they get kind of angry and then they their, their efficiencies go down. So you have to sort of still provide for your crew and whatnot by having at least a little bit of cargo for them. So whenever I go to the station, I tend to buy these if I don't have enough that I've picked up from, from space. Um, and then over here, we got a little bit of statistics, how many shots fired I am and how, how my accuracy, which is, as you can see, really poor. Uh, I've only destroyed two enemies and I've died 22 times. <laughs> That's just the name of the game. It's... Uh, it, it is quite uh, quite challenging from that perspective. I'm using WASD. It's all keyboard controls right now. WASD to move around to, to spin my ship. Um, well, it's really W and, and I'm, I'm sorry, A and D to spin the ship. And then W speeds up and S will slow down. You see my speed up there. And then spacebar will slow you to a halt and all that stuff. And what I tend to do, see there's an enemy ship coming up here and that little red dot on the on the uh, radar there. This is what I've been doing right here. I've been usually, I've been puttering around in the asteroid belt and I'm near one of the space stations. You can see that big yellow dot uh, down the corner there. And I'm doing that because the AI is exceptionally bad at navigating the uh, the asteroid belts like that one there managed to get through but if I can kind of kite him into coming back here we might be able to get him to crash they're they're spectacularly bad at actually getting through the asteroid field and so the easiest way I found to pick up salvage which is actually pretty lucrative uh, oh, someone else just died it's just kind of put around in here near a space station and eventually ships passing through will Crash, and there you go, my cargo hold is, is full. If I hit L here, you can see the little flag on the top of my radar screen is telling me I have log messages. Um, you can see the first one that, that got destroyed dropped one livestock and nine general cargo, and the, uh, oh wait, no, I'm sorry, I'm scrolled down here. 
Now the first one it dropped, dropped uh, one salvage and one beverage and some credits. And then the other one, uh, one salvage and eight food for 200 and also 295 credits. So now I just come on down here and this is a, a neutral station. I'll hit shift, left shift to uh, target them and I can go and duck. And yeah, this is Free Space Union. They're they're neutral towards me right now. And then in here, as you get to see the, the what what goes on in the stations, so our dock is just giving us an idea of who what crew we have, and I can part ways with them here if we want to. The markets where you go and buy and sell things. Um, I've got a lot of food, so I can actually get that probably down to four. I like to keep at least four. I have two crew. Gives me like you know couple days out in space without them get complaining too much uh, and then I can sell off the salvage and you can see we're up to 30,000 credits it's not I mean it's a pretty slow burning game and, I, and I'll get into some of my criticisms in a little bit but you also see the shipyard here a barge will cost me 111,724 credits which we're nowhere even near close to but you can see how much compared to my current scout ship which is this is the the ship that I'm on right now, you can see it's same, 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 0% and all that stuff. Um, this is 500% more hull strength, 50% more energy, uh, the speed is less, but then cargo capacity is 1400% more, all that stuff. You can see it's definitely an upgrade. There's no, um, from what I can tell, no individual upgrades like weapons or shields or anything like that, which I'm actually okay with. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of these games have all those upgrades and, and there's nothing particularly wrong with that. It's just that um, it does tend to get a little, uh, maybe not monotonous, but a little like uh, samey after a while. You know, you, you get so used to like, oh, okay, now I'm gonna go grind for some gear and all this stuff, and it's kind of interesting and nice at time from time to time to just be able to be like, no, I just need to get a new a new ship. You know, I just need to work towards that. Um, and then over here is our munitions. You can see I've got I'm maxed out on all my stuff. My my chaff, my missiles, my drones, and my mines. Uh, there are some ships here that don't have missiles. In fact, the next ship I'm looking at doesn't have any missile launchers on it, but does have drones and chaff and mines. The drones are incredibly useful. Like they just go off and wreck some faces, but you do go through them very quickly. The missiles are also all homing missiles um, and all that stuff. Th these are. The combat is very much a what you would expect from a game like this, where it's uh, it's a lot of spin, spin, spin. You know, it's constantly turning and turning and turning and spiral, ever decreasing spiral back to an ever increasing spiral. Very much like um, uh, the old DOS game Solar Winds that I played, uh, the first chapter of say last year or whatever, where it's just you get every time you get into combat, you get into it's just a turn. Thing. You just got to constantly keep turning and spinning and spinning and spinning um, in order to stay away from their missiles. And unfortunately, the the AI has drones and everything else just like you, and those are a pain to deal with. Your shields are on it on a you have to hit caps lock to turn your shields on or off, and you know that uses up your energy, which is a shared energy pool between that and your your weapons and everything. So it's uh, it's a lot of sort of. It's, it's very, very difficult. Let's let's put it that way. In the pub is where you could hire uh, more crew if you wanted to. Um, command is where you can get a mission. Each station will give you a mission or it'll just say, we don't have a mission yet for you. Uh, you can see this one. Uh, they want me to destroy 10 cold bones ships and I'll get 11,500 credits and three medals. That's a little bit crazy. Uh, a lot of these missions are pretty crazy. It's like destroy ten of their ships. I'm like, I had trouble destroying one of their ships. I've only kill. I've only destroyed two ships. Um, that's how crazy it is. Uh, so like, even though eleven thousand five hundred credits would be fantastic, it would get me to my goal. Um, this is like completely unrealistic, especially when you realize that every time you use a missile, you gotta buy some more. So you can see it's 51 to buy more, or I'm sorry, yeah, 82 to buy more, and and all, or no, I'm sorry, 51 to buy more, because this is their stock. And, you know, it's just, you might end up using 
5,000 credits just to get 11,000 back. It's it's kind of kind of imbalanced and a little bit crazy there. Uh, again, that's a lot to do with just the the way the combat is, in the scout anyway. Now, if I if I had a combat ship, which there are a couple combat ships, it might be a better it might be a different story then. But just trying to get to that is has been uh, interesting to say the least. Oh, there we go. There's some there's some Kevin McLeod music. Anyone who's followed my channel for a long time knows this song. Um, get our log real fast, and you can see here's gives me a roundup of what I sold as far as cargo is concerned and how much money I got for it, which I got all the profit for those because I didn't buy that buy them. <laughs> I just waited for an enemy ship to be destroyed. Um, and that's how it's been thus far. I've been playing for about two hours and I'm still in the starter ship and having trouble um, getting anywhere besides the starter ship. I have to be very careful with these. These asteroids are one hit kills in this ship. Even if you just barely graze it, it will destroy you outright. The larger ships get a little bit of a reprieve. All right, well, what I could do is attempt to show you the combat. Now, there's another nice thing about this game that I want to, I want to, um, oh, here we go, provisions. Crusade SI, two units of food and two units of beverages. So they just took two units for themselves, two, two tons for themselves. Um, the one nice thing about this game is it's the auto save is very generous. It, it saves every five in-game days, and you can, I believe, adjust that in the options menu. Uh, market watch, price of salvage has been lower, general has gone up, so there you go. It gives you an idea of what is trending as far as the market, what you want to buy and sell. We have an enemy over here, but it's a larger dot, which tells me that it's going to be a bit of a lopsided battle if I try to go after them. But they are already fighting somebody else, so I might be able to help this person fight them. Or, well, this NPC fight them. Yeah, it's that big ship up there. If I hit tab, I will target them. And we can see where they're at as far as energy and stuff. Yeah, that smaller ship is getting just wrecked. But you can hear the drones getting off, doing their thing. And they do pick up cargo and stuff. Oh! And I just crashed into something. <laughs> I didn't even see that thing on, on, on screen there. Um, but like I said, the autosave is pretty generous. So you don't go back too far, um, usually. So you can see I'm actually pretty much where I was, that yellow ship is still on its way out there. Um, so it, it's, dying is not too penalizing. You don't get too far behind when you do it. And you can also manually save as well. Um, so you can even save even sooner than what they have. But unfortunately, that ship that was attacking this guy up here is not attacking them anymore, so don't really want to take him on myself. He's a big, he's a big dude. I'd like to take on a smaller one. Um, if I can find a smaller one, I just got to find a smaller blip around here somewhere. Because we are near the, um, let me go further down towards that other purple station. Because that's another station that has enemies in it. The, the cold dogs, the pirates, as they were. Or cold bones, I should say. Cold dogs. <laughs> The dogs are another thing. The hound is, a, is another one. Also, let's see. They're probably going to get destroyed, right? Going through that asteroid field. I'm following them. Oh, no. They're, they're making it through. That's interesting. They just squeezed through there. Wow. Okay. Like I said, normally they're pretty bad at actually getting through asteroids, but uh, that one made it through. That is the easiest way to gather salvage and other resources. You see this guy is kind of puttering around a little bit. Unsure of himself. Um, I'm going to stick inside the asteroid belt for a little bit here. Tempt fate, as it were. 
Um, so some of my, while we wait to get into a battle here, some of my criticisms, um, the game is very, oh, this guy just, just got wrecked. And our cargo hold is full now, so it would behoove us to go back and sell that stuff off, but we'll, we'll keep on going and try to get into combat. Um, the game is extremely slow um, right now, and while that's not necessarily a bad thing, I think there's a few things that could improve. First of all, the transit times between um, stations, like it, it can take a little while, even in game, you know, in, in real lifetime, get from one station to the next. And I feel like it would not be out of the realm of possibility for them to have a um, like time dilation, like speed up time or something, speed up time by four times or something like that. A lot of games like this that try to go for the simulation will do that, um, just so that you can, you're not spending quite as much time just puttering around, twiddling your thumbs, you know? I'm going to shadow this guy because I think he's going to get into trouble. There we go. Yeah, they're going to, they're fighting each other. Oh, he's, he's coming after me. Come after me, dude. I didn't shoot you. Other guy shot you. There they go. I'm gonna see if somebody comes out the winner here so I can help out a bit. But you can see the combat. Oh! Oh, I ran I see what happened. They dropped the they dropped the mine and I ran over the mine. <laughs> That's what happens. I'm like, what is going on here? I don't wanna watch them fight a little bit. Gotta make sure I don't run over any of their mines. What I could do is help this guy out a little bit by sending some drones. Oh, that was not the right one to shoot on drones. You're supposed to shoot the other guy. What's wrong with you? Fire my missile here. Let's get our shield up because, man, we're getting hammered here. feel like I'm not doing really any damage to this guy. And we're out of drones now. It's unfortunate. Oh, and I I turned the shields off right at the wrong time. Let's see if we can do a little bit better. Like I said, it's not easy in terms of Yeah. And this is half the problem. I know that I shouldn't really be in combat with this small ship, but you basically can't do any combat until you uh, get into a larger ship, and that just is annoying, right? Because it's like just getting to a larger ship takes forever and a day. And I would really, it would really be fantastic if I could just do it sooner, you know, if this, if it wasn't so crappy trying to try and keep this going. If it wasn't so like, if, if the combat wasn't so freaking difficult, of course I am punching above my, above my waist, I know, but, or above my weight limit, but still it could be particularly hard to find someone my own my own size to fight now they're they're doing some good damage to him it's good I can also right click I have I do have a, a gun I just haven't been using it well it looks like they've damaged him quite a bit all right I'm gonna sit here and and just shoot him there we go I'm taking his cargo though oh no you, no 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 you don't you don't get his cargo what all right, this guy, this guy right here. Like I said, it's it's much a, it's very much a turn and burn 
thing here where you just kind of have to keep these guys in range. No, no, no. Oh, you bastard. No, give me that. Give me that cargo. Oh, I can't take... Oh, you know what? I can't take it anyway. I have, my cargo holds full. <laughs> That's why I wasn't taking it. All right. That station there is not loyal to me. They're not going to let me dock. Yeah, you see the dock is is red. Um, they don't they don't like me too much. And here's payday. So time to go. Our hull. We managed to get out of that one that time without any hull damage or anything. I'm going to follow this enemy through here because I have a feeling he's going to he's going to die. Yep, we did. That's more cargo I can't pick up right now. <laughs> I I think the cargo, I don't think it, I think it despawns possibly when I go back to a, a base. So I don't think that there's anything I can do about that right now. Um, But yeah, there you got kind of an idea of the combat. It's very, very difficult in this, in this ship. I think as you get into larger ships, like you saw that other ship was really holding his own. Uh, we got another enemy coming in here who's... Gonna give me problems, probably. Turns away. All right, turned away. Um, so you can see it kind of gives you an idea of how that how that works. It's not a you don't have a turret or anything like that. It doesn't matter where your mouse cursor is. You'll just fire in fire straight. Um, and of course, I show you the energy, shared energy, and trying to get to your shields up and all those things. What do we got here? Market watch coming in. Um, so that gives you an idea of it. There's not much else to really go into on the game. I do like that during these long transits, the twinkling of the stars in the background is, is quite nice. It gives you something, um, you know, and, and all the plants and stuff moving in the background. Oh, we got a bunch of enemies crowding around our station up here. If I can get out of here before they... Get on my case. There we go. And dock. <laughs> dock before they become a problem. Oh, wow. I haven't heard this Kevin McLeod music in forever here. The old Soul Zero starting up. Um, so there we go. And we got a bunch of general goods from that were dropped. Medical, livestock, uh, clothing, and some salvage. So we're back up to 30307 you can see our credits keep going up and down because we keep paying the crew and all that stuff. So it's it's like you're very much on a treadmill trying to get ahead of it, and it's it's particularly difficult. I think they're they're gonna have to maybe balance the prices of things a little bit better um, because it is very hard to get forward momentum. Uh, you can see the fighter is at. 34,000 credits, I can get a fighter, and that gives you more uh, speed and hull and more missiles and uh, more drones, one more drone. But, eh, again, I'm not a big, huge fan of, of the ship-to-ship -ship combat in the game. It's, it's okay, but it's not the greatest. And these guys don't have any mission for me right now they're just telling me who they hate and who I should go after but uh, yeah I think that gives you a decent understanding of what's going on in this in this particular game uh, I didn't replenish any of my stuff but that's okay um, echelon post that's everything we sold it's probably fitting that I go to end uh, the episode here with uh, this good old my first ending end slate music here uh, another Kevin McLeod track so you get uh, an idea of what's going on here and, and how this works I, I like what they've got um, like I said I think they really need a time speed up on it because again the transit between uh, stations is very very long and boring um, the combat is what it is. I, you're going to get that with a 2D top-down thing. Uh, don't let the 
poorly drawn asteroids and stuff detract from you. It's actually, the mechanics of the game are quite nice. I like the way they've done things. Um, it's very forgiving with the autosave as well, which you can also turn off if you want to. And yeah, I mean, there's not much I could I can offer as far as things that they should necessarily change um, beyond the time stuff. Uh, if there's mining, like I feel like this kind of game would lend itself well if you, if you could mine the asteroids. I don't know if that's just limited to different ships than what I have or not. I think that the the hill that you have to climb to get to other ships to, to buy other ships is a little bit crazy. Um, I think they might have to tweak some of the some of the credits and how rewards and stuff and maybe have missions that are far more rewarding than they actually are. Right now, some of the cargo missions are will get you some money, but you have to buy for all the you have to buy all the cargo, so at the end of the day you're not really like they're not giving you the cargo to transport, you have to buy it yourself and then sell it at the other place. Um, so it's not, you're not really getting the amount of credits that you think you're getting at the end of the day with that, um, in profit anyway. So things like that, I think could be certainly looked at and improved, but otherwise, um, yeah, I'm really liking it. I, I really like it, but it's, it doesn't make for very good. YouTube videos, <laughs> you know, it's there's so little going on at any one given time that it's I feel like I can't really show you much here because it would be kind of boring but uh, to, to look at it anyway, but with that That's the end of the song coming. I know it well Thanks so much for watching everybody. This has been my look at Pirates of Sector 7. It is by Kneeling Bean Studio it's currently out on itch.io uh, for, I believe, 10 bucks. I Don't quote me on that. Um, I will leave links down in the description so you can do your own due diligence and also go take a look at it on the store. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time.